Hey, what's going on everyone? It's the Vosk of the Voscoin YouTube channel. I'm here with Tails Vosk, and we're here to talk to you today about a new ASIC miner and crypto night coins and basically the whole ecosystem could be extremely disrupted. It's a good watch. You probably guessed by now, but you're watching the Voscoin YouTube channel and today I'm here to bring you very bad breaking news, especially if you're a GPU miner. So Bicycle Miner, BicleMiner.com. You can check out their stuff. They're a legitimate ASIC reseller. If you check the channel, um, you know I've got a couple reviews on them. I had the Giant B recently, and I had their old Cube way back when. That was actually, I think, my second video. Crazy time flies, man. But so we're here, and they announced on their Twitter today that they had the Giant N. This isn't fud. This isn't fake news. This is a real deal. This is the real deal. And this is a real issue. Okay, so they create FPGA miners, which to keep it simple. Those are ASIC miners, essentially, but they mine a couple algorithms. An FPGA and an ASIC is actually different. For example, if we go to Bitmain, all of their miners are ASIC miners. So what does the D3 mine? It mines only X11. What does the L3 Plus mine? It mines only script. What does the S9 mine? Only SHA-256, aka Bitcoin. So these miners only mine one thing, that's it, period, the end, forever, done. Whereas if you look at the Bicycle miners, we go over their products here. Uh, their recent releases would be the Giant B and the X10. These mine multiple algorithms, you know, Blake 256R14, Library, Pascal, and we go over here, we got X11, Core, Qubit, and uh, you know, Skeen. There's multiple algorithms, and with that, the Bicycle Giant N is going to be mining Kryptonite and Kryptonite Lite. The impact is pretty serious. Kryptonite is one of the largest GPU mining algorithms. However, I do have some good news to go along with this absolutely terrible news. If you're familiar with Fluffy Pony, Ricardo, the CEO basically of Monero, uh, he tweeted this about a month or so ago. Long story short, he says that he'll fork Monero out of an ASIC. That's a pretty big deal. We have these coins and we look at this hash rate, Electronium. 300 mega hash a second. We come down here, we got Carbo at four, we got Monero at a whopping 930, Sumo coins 15, and you know, Bitcoin seven mega hash. Basically, Monero is the critical piece here. And I could kind of see some of these coins maybe sticking around, you know, on that not forking off of an ASIC to become a little bit more relevant. You know, it could be, it could be moved there. I'm totally against ASICs. If you follow the channel, you'll be like, but boss, you review ASIC miners, man. I cover all mining and all crypto. You know, get so many ASICs are on my farm right now. The answer would be zero. I sold all of them. Why? Because I get them, I review them, because I don't really like talking about things I don't actually have. You want to review something, you really need to get it and, you know, check it out. There's some speculation about this. A few people have already caught wind and, you know, maybe a little bit of freaking out. You go over to the Monero subreddit and, you know, you see they're talking about it right here. Guys discussing it and everything. I jumped in there as if I'm relevant on Reddit. And um, speaking of Reddit, uh, we have a subreddit if you want to check it out. It's you know it's gonna be a lot of fun. Obviously, it's gonna be mining focused, but crypto in general as well. Let's get to the actual focus of the video, Vosk, and stop talking about all your pages, man. God, you know what happened to Vosk, man? He didn't used to do this. But so let's look at some difficulty charts. We've got Eon, which is Kryptonite Light, which is the second algorithm. Uh, you know that the uh, Bicycle Miner or Giant N or whatever the hell they want to call it can do. Okay, so this is a six-month difficulty chart, and that's a pretty sharp increase right there. I mean, you know, we can do some speculation, whatever. I'm not really here to speculate today. I just want to show you these charts and have you form your own conclusions. But you know, let's look at that time frame, January right there, and let's look at this time frame. You know, not not as drastic then, but here's the deal. Monero is a much bigger and established hash rate. These are pretty large jumps. You know, obviously this can coincide with the price point. Monero has been a little all over the place lately, just kind of like every other coin. And we've got a lot of miners and mining farms, whatever, jumping around chasing those profits, especially the guys who auto convert into BTC and stuff like that. A lot of people are worried that ASICs are going to kill GPU mining. It's absolutely a concern. However, it's going to be up to us, the community, to speak out and say, if you don't fork off that ASIC, I don't like your coin. You know, it's it's one thing, you know, it's bad enough if you want to be like Ethereum and go to proof of stake and kick off all the miners who really built up your coin. You know, maybe I'm speaking a little too opinionated right there. But, you know, we got that. That's one thing. But to allow an ASIC to come and take over your coin, I mean, I mean, you want to talk about Sciacoin? Let's take a look at Sciacoin. It looks like it hasn't been going too well for Sciacoin. I mean, like, uh, 
you know, right around here, ASICs came out. Granted, big market correction kind of happened at the same time, but uh, it's been a pretty steady uh, downward trend. I mean, that's pretty, uh, that's definitely, uh, you can see the blow off on the pillars, and then we got a bouncing cat, double dog. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty obvious if you look at this chart, you know, the trade signals going on here. And uh, yeah, so, and I have no sympathy, and you're like, oh, Faust, you talked about the A3 and the ASIC on your channel, man. Yeah, I did, because uh, if you don't know this, Sidecoin development team are also the Obelisk Tech who are creating their own ASIC miner. So obviously they wanted ASICs, and they got ASICs. And apparently this mystical how long mining, uh, just to be clear about them, I've been trying to get in touch with these guys, you know, to get any kind of information. They send me a message back on Reddit. They won't send me pictures. They seem like vaporware, scam, BS, whatever. I mean, tell me that doesn't look like an ant miner. I mean, come on, dude. Ant miner, ant miner. I mean, that, that's like not even a real picture. It's just imposed on there. And who the hell? Who is this guy? Who is this guy? The, can, can, listen to him. Today I'm going to show you yet another new miner. <laughs> is this, uh. Look at this guy. I mean, I, I'm not trying to be mean or say anything right there. But look at him. Is that a guy you're going to send $10,000? <laughs> not me. <laughs> not me as far as I see it's some dude <laughs> looking a little mysterious right here and uh, That really looks like an ant miner to me and it's pretty clearly probably an AP 3w Plus plus AK bitmain ant miners power supply anyway. I'm getting a little bit off topic here You know is GPU mining gonna gonna die to these ASICs? It's up to us. We're gonna have to fight. We're at war here simple as that, but um, here's a really cool point give them their main site Long story short, the gist of it is basically they set out to be like the true vision of Bitcoin. And if you remember, you know, one CPU, one vote, huh, not Bitmain's ASIC miners for Bitcoin mining, which creates centralization and power and control and the complete opposite of cryptocurrency and decentralization, all that stuff. But, you know, anyway, that's all no subject. The point of this all is, is that Monero has taken the stance of we're against ASICs, which is awesome. And if that's what they want to do, that's absolutely a project that I can back. I actually talked about Monero a lot. If you're interested on the channel, the what is the best privacy coin? I talked a lot about Monero and their tech behind it and ring signatures and Zcash and ZK Snarks and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, Monero is, is a very strong, passionate community. And, um, you know, they're, they're tight knit. They're tight knit, I'd say so. And, and they're really mean every time I come to the subreddit, guys. Is it me? Am I just... Is it just easy to bully me on the internet? Because that's how it feels. But seriously, guys. So, you know, look at all this stuff. Make your own decisions. I just want to post a little update. I know, again, you know, Voscoin channel is cryptocurrency, but it's a huge mining focus. I get that. I know that. And I love that. And this whole journey started with documenting my mining journey in the mining farm. So, uh, you know, I've, I've been working on a couple of Vega rigs and uh, as well as some more CPU mining stuff. And this, you know, this hurts. This hurts. I'm not happy to see this. So we'll see how this all develops. I read them in the comments. I meant to cover this earlier. You know, they haven't replied to me yet. I'm just taking this off a of comment. So it's exactly that. But apparently the minimum order quantity is six at a price point of 3,600 per unit. And it's only USD wire and dealing with Bicol Miner is, I'd say they're absolutely the worst possible to communicate with. They don't give, like, they don't care about you at all. And they make great miners, you know, for what they are. You know, I don't like the premise behind them, but they do make great quality miners. But if something goes wrong, like, dude, just throw it away because you're not going to get any help. All right, guys, so with all that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel and, you know, stick with me. We've got all kinds of crazy content in the works and past videos. We've got over... Uh, 130 videos that's insane and thank you guys so much for helping us breach 50k that's a freaking big milestone and you know i'm super excited so i won't go on and on i'm boring you so see you next time guys thanks for watching Bye.